Hey, it's Murtaza from Networkers Home. Welcome back again to another video of WSA. In this video, we'll be seeing explicit forwarding with the direct method. As you know, there are two methods for explicit forwarding. One is the direct method and another is pack file hosting. So in this video, we'll be seeing the direct method. And in the next video, we'll be seeing the pack file hosting. I'm using the same topology as I have been using in the previous videos. Everything is configured here according to the topology. The IP addresses I have done parting for my inside uh, devices, my inside employee PC and, and PC and Windows Server. And for my WSA, I have done static uh, static natting with the, uh, within one of with one of my IP addresses from the outside subnet. All that I have done in the previous videos, you can check my previous videos. I can show you the netting on add details. You can see my WSA has been statically translated to this IP address and my inside subnet has been translated to the outside interface of ASA. I've been patting here. So, So when employee PC uh, tries to access HTTP or HTTPS, those packets directly go to firewall and go out to the internet. But what I want is that I want my traffic, my packets to directly go to WSA and directly WSA should go out to internet and the reply should come to WSA and WSA should reply to my employee PC. So for that, let's check the traffic right now, what's the traffic flow right now? You can see uh, right now those HTTP traffic, those packets are passing directly through the firewall and going out to internet. So let's deny that by writing some ACL access list inside deny tcp host tcp any to any eq80 and eq443 and access list inside permit ip any any because this is followed by the implicit rule deny IP any. I'll apply it on the inside interface in inside. I deny I'm denying the TCP traffic from any source to any destination the for HTTP and HTTPS. Now let's try to generate the traffic again. This is my inside host. You can see I'm not able to. So let's navigate to settings, scroll down to internet option, navigate to connections and click LAN settings. Uncheck automatically detect settings and select use a proxy server for your LAN. I'll define my proxy server IP address. That is my WSA 1.7.50 on the port 3128. This is my proxy server port address, not my web prog web server port address. This is my proxy uh, server's port address that it will redirect the traffic on. Okay, okay. Now let's try to regenerate the traffic. If you get this page, it is good for testing. This means that the traffic from employee PC is getting denied and it is getting redirected to WSA, but WSA is not able to go out to internet because we have denied all the HTTP and HTTPS traffic on the inside interface. So let's 
allow the traffic of WSA from inside. I'll say access list inside permit IP post one fifty dot one dot seven dot fifty any You can see this access list up here. I've used this line one in the statement to put this ACL at the top. Now, if you'll try again, now my traffic is directly going to WSA and I have allowed the traffic of WSA to pass through. Now, if you check the server history, show IP HTTP server history, we can see the remote IP address of the trans of the WSA. This is the translated IP address of the WSA. So my traffic is getting denied and redirected to WSA, and the traffic from is directly uh, leaving from WSA to out to internet. So my traffic is directly going to WSA and WSA is, is going out to internet and the reply is coming in the same manner. If you want to check here also, this is the IP address of the uh, translate IP address of the WSA. So that's how you verify that the traffic is hitting on this web server. That is, this is the translated IP address of WSA, not the inside user. So the traffic is directly going to WSA and the WSA is going out to internet, not the employee PC itself. So that's it for this video. I hope you like this video. I'll see you in the next one.